Those penguins launch faster than cannonballs! Check, check. Check, check, check. Barnacles to Gup Eye, the Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashie, take the Gup S under now. Captain, Emperor penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. Good work, Dashi. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Oh. Easy does it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. The wind's picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? Can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? Turn northwest, past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. I seem to be bumping into a lot of penguins today. What's happening? The ice underneath us is cracking. Ice chasm. Octonauts, abandon the gut S now. moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right, but I can't say the same for the Gup S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. That's odd. For a second, I thought I heard the Octo Alert. Huh? My Octo Compass is frozen and the Octo Alert isn't working. Gup I, come in. Come in, Gup I. Shiver me whiskers! And all me other parts, too! We can't stay out in the cold like this! Don't worry, we'll keep warm by carrying you home. But which way is home? Um... I have no idea. And the map's not working. <laughs> that way is home! <gasps> That's right! Emperor penguins can find the way back to their babies without a map or a compass. Even in a blizzard! Octonauts, let's do this! Not long at all! Look! Mom! Mom! Over here! Where are you? I want my mom! We'll 
help you find your mom. What does she look like? It's more important what she sounds like. Each Emperor Penguin family has a special call only they use. I'd recognize my wife's call anywhere, and she's not here. She's not the only one who is missing. Where is Barnacles? I thought the team would be back with the Penguin Mothers. This is Tweak to go, Bess. Hello? Nobody's answering. Wait, wait, I hear something. Me too. Hmm, that sounds like an Emperor Penguin call. Mixed with a polar bear growl? My darling! I'm here! Bandages? Are you all right, dear? Oh, yes. Thanks to the Octonauts. I never would have made it without them. Now, how about a proper hello, little one? Eat your mommy. <laughs> Oh, my little legs all grown up. Captain, what happened? There was wind and snow and an ice chasm. I'm just glad you're all okay. But where's the gub, S? <clears throat> you tell her, matey. Me? Why do I have to tell her? Well, I'm not going to tell her. I'm afraid the gub, S, is at the bottom of an ice chasm. Squeak! <laughs> I didn't think you'd take it that hard. <sighs> we'll figure it all out, Cap. It ought to be a real adventure getting the gub ass out of that chasm. Yep. But first, how about some hot chocolate? Good idea, Quasi. Make mine a double with extra marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Barnacles to Shellington, how's your exploration of the coral reef going? Wonderfully, Captain. We've discovered something amazing. A huge stone archway. Uh, you there? Can you help us? Help you? Um, how? Oh, we've got cracks in the archway. And if the cracks keep cracking, the whole thing could come crashing down. <gasps> He's right. The cracks are weakening the arch. It could collapse any moment. Hmm. Is there any way to repair it? I don't think there's time for that, Captain. The cracks are already too big. Right. You'd better move the creatures attached to the arch to a safe area nearby. And be sure to warn other creatures who live around the arch, too. Aye, aye, Captain. We're on it. Was that? What was what? I don't see anything. I don't either now. I thought I saw something sticking up out of that burrow. Maybe just a shadow or a puff of sand. Hmm. Well, that's everyone. Maybe. I just want to make sure. Hello? Anyone home? You're wasting your time. I've never seen anybody come or go out of that burrow. I know I saw something. <laughs> Howdy! I'm Gilbert. Hello, Gilbert. What you looking at? We were looking to see if there's anyone down in this burrow. Of course there is. That's Mama's burrow. Who's Mama? Our Mama! If your Mama lives down there, you have to warn her that... Oh, <laughs> fish certainly do come and go quickly in these burrows. I think I know how to get to the bottom of this. The Rover Cam. It's a camera that can squeeze into tight places. If there's anything in there, we'll see it on this screen. <laughs> peek a -boo. Gilbert, is that you? <laughs> Didn't we just see him swim into that burrow over there? I think it might be one big burrow with different entrances. Look! Whoa. Jumping jellyfish. Amazing! You want to meet Mama? This way! <laughs> Lots of hallways and rooms in this house, huh? <laughs> Mama, we've got company! Hey! Out of here, you! Out, out, out! Maybe I can tempt her out. Say, aren't you the fella I saw earlier? Yes, and I saw you too. 
Can you come out? We need to talk to you. Well, you can talk to me right here. I'm a convict fish and I never come out. But uh, we met your children out here. We go out and bring Mama food. We're just about to get her some lunch. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? And make it quick. Uh, I'm afraid you and your burrow are in danger. The arch above you is about to collapse. You need to move somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear me. A grown-up convict fish like me never leaves her burrow. Now, good day to you. Oh, the arch is getting weaker by the minute. Dashy, how's everything going out there? I'm afraid there's a problem, Captain. There's a convict fish right under the archway, and she won't leave her burrow. I think you might want to... Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a convict fish who needs to be moved out of the danger zone of a collapsing stone arch. She's deep inside her burrow and she really doesn't want to leave. Sounds like she's gonna need some convincing, Captain. Quasi, Vegimals, into the gup A and bring plenty of fish biscuits and kelp cakes. Hi, what you doing? Gilbert, can you get your mama to talk to Captain Barnacles? Is he your mama? <laughs> uh, not exactly, but I do look after him. Oh, what now? Excuse us, Mama, but the stone archway above is going to fall on top of you if you don't move out quickly. We've been through that. I'm not moving. And... Mm -hmm. <gasps> Something smells good. Mm -hmm. Fish biscuits, Mama. They can all be yours. All you got to do is come out. Oh, no. Not leaving. No way, no how. She's more stubborn than the lid of a rusty treasure chest. No amount of convincing is going to get her out of that burrow. Agreed. But perhaps we can move her burrow to a safer place. Huh? How? By digging another burrow. If we connect it to Mama's burrow, she can swim underground to a safer area. On it, Captain. We'll need to tunnel down vertically several feet, then along horizontally to join up with Mama's burrow. Well, let's get digging. Uh, one problem. If we make the hole too big, the tunnel could collapse. So, we need someone a little bit smaller than we are to dig it. Ha! <laughs> ah. Almost there. And perfect. Now, start digging to the right. <laughs> They've stopped. Something's in their way. I think it's a large rock. <laughs> Sounds like they're trying to move it. It must be too heavy to move. Vegimals, you need to go around it. They're going round it, Captain. And yes, they're back on course. Time's running out. Quickly, Vegimals, dig as fast as you can. <laughs> Almost may not be good enough. I'll try and slow it down. Uh-oh. That don't sound good. Maybe we should get out. The children, follow Mama! Oh, no! Get behind me, kids! Another cave-in. Super! Well, I'll be! We're right behind you. Come on, kids! Dashy, did they all get out safely? I can't see anything. The cave-in cut off the signal. Hoo-wee! I like our new digs. Reminds me of my old home. Well done. And Mama and her young fish, all safe and accounted for. Got my burrow, got my kids. Huh? Hey, where's Gilbert? Gilbert! 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 Help! Help! Down here! 
It's Gilbert. He must be trapped in the old burrows. We have to rescue him. But how? It's too dangerous down there for the vegetables. I know. The Rover Cam. A delicate operation like this calls for the steady blippers of a medic. Octonauts, totem pole. We have to hold the arch up as long as we can. Yeah, but my tail isn't. Gilbert's tail is pinned. He's stuck. Ah, the rover cap. Any way to maneuver it to free Gilbert's tail. Careful, matey. One wrong move and the whole tunnel can collapse. If anybody can do it, it's you, Peso. The steady flippers of a medic. One. Well done, Peso. But where's Gilbert now? Right where he should be. Is everyone okay in here? More than okay, now that all my babies are safe and sound in our new home. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. Y'all come back and visit anytime. You know where to find Mama. <laughs> Mama's always home. Nothing tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. I'll get this one for you, me hearty. These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweet. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. <sighs> That's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> Captain, I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because... Uh, because I need to, um... Let me guess. Practice your driving skills. Ah, that's it. Practice my driving skills. <laughs> Those dolphins are fast, even the babies. But I reckon I can catch up with them. Wow! Woohoo! Always nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh, he must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find out. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut B near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the Guppy slipstream. Yeah, 
I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak, we'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. First, we'll record his sounds and then we'll play it while we search. And his mummy will recognise the special sound. Ready, set, whistle! Come here, little matey. Don't be afraid. He likes you, Quasi. Why don't you try? Um, give us a nice whistle now. Perfect. We've got our recording for the search. Shellington, Dashy, into the Gup E. Peso, into the Gup A with me. We'll spread out and search for the dolphin's mother. And Quasi, you stay here and babysit. I can. Oh, what? Did you say stay here and babysit? Well, you're the best one for the job, Quasi. Me? A babysitter? Yes. The baby dolphin really seems to like you. Keep a close eye on him. But, Captain, I... Quasi, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, don't worry, little matey. They'll find your mother. All we have to do is wait. <sighs> Waiting's not very exciting, is it? <gasps> Come on, matey. We're going outside to play. Oh, this looks like a good place. Well, go ahead now. Play. But don't go far, little matey. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, you got me again. A seashell? You want to play fetch, do you? Mighty fast little dolphin. <laughs> Try again. <coughs> what is it, little matey? <coughs> Careful, matey. Those lobster claws can really pinch. Yeah. Go snap somewhere else. Okay. Here you go, little dolphin. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's race to the other side of the rocks, eh? Ready, set, go! Ah, dolphins! Excuse me, do you recognise this sound? Nope, uh, doesn't sound familiar, but earlier today we saw some other dolphins back that way. Maybe they'll know the sound. Thanks. I hope we can find them, Captain. Never heard that whistle before, I'm afraid. Oh. But I did see a dolphin looking for her baby a few minutes ago. She was on the other side of that reef. Oh, thanks. Dashy to Captain Barnacles. Captain, we have a lead on the mother dolphin. She's on the other side of the reef. Good work, Octonauts. Let's go. Oh, and a dolphin. Now try this. Oh, ah. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, no. Where is he? Little matey, come back to Quasi. Where are you? Look, over there. Um... Excuse me, is this the sound of your baby? Yes, it is. I've been looking everywhere for him. Do you know where he is? We'll take you to him. Follow our slipstream. Oh, thank goodness. 
Barnacles to Quasi. We found the baby dolphin's mother and we're on our way back to the octopod. Uh, great. Me and the baby will be right here waiting for you when you get back. Barnacles out. Oh, this is terrible. I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> Lunch is served. <laughs> oh, no, lunch is cancelled. <sighs> He's gone, and you're safe. You can't just go off on your own like that. Stay close to me, matey. to see you. Thank you for keeping my baby safe. Just doing my job as an octonaut and a babysitter. Come on, it's time for us to go. Go on with your mum now. For me? Thanks, little matey. Goodbye. And thank you. Good work, Octonauts. And especially you, Quasi. Thanks, Captain. <sighs> this belongs with me other treasures. I'll remember you always, little matey. Forest is right up ahead. Thanks, Dashy. Now let's hurry. Shellington has someone special he wants us to meet. Ah, oh, can't you just tell us who it is? No, it's a surprise. Ooh, is it someone you've known for a long time? Actually, I've never met him before. Is it some kind of slimy kelp monster? No. Hmm, is it. A bunch of kelp heading straight for us! Yeah, the water's full of kelp. And it's all coming from the kelp forest. Something's not right. We'd better take a look. Kelp strands are connected to the seafloor by these special roots. If these roots come loose, the kelp will float away. If too much kelp floats away, There'll be no more kelp forest. And all these creatures will have nowhere to live. But what's causing all the kelp to come loose in the first place? A vast. Look, mateys. I was afraid of this. Red urchins. Red urchins destroy kelp roots. They can wipe out an entire kelp forest. Unless there are sea otters <laughs> around to eat them. Pearl! <laughs> Hello, Shellington. Everybody, this is my sister, Pearl the sea otter. Oh, hiya. Hi, Hello. Matey. Pearl is a scientist, just like me. She knows practically everything about kelp forests and kelp plants. Actually, kelp isn't a plant at all. It's a type of algae. See? So this is who you wanted us to meet. Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure Pearl can tell us what's wrong with the kelp forest. Ah, uh, yes. I'm afraid I've fallen a bit behind on my urchin duties. Urchin duties? Yes, we sea otters are what's known as a keystone species. The whole kelp forest depends on us to eat the red urchins so they don't destroy it. It's our duty as sea otters. But I've never seen you eat an urchin. Ah, uh, well actually, as it turns out, I'm allergic to urchins. Shellington helps the kelp forest in a different way, as an octonaut. Oh, usually I can keep the urchins under control all by myself, but lately I've been kind of busy with... Well, let me show you. He's right over here. I wrapped him up in kelp so he wouldn't drift away. Everybody, this is Periwinkle. <laughs> This is who I wanted you all to meet. My new nephew. 
Aww. Look at Look how fuzzy he is. But he's still just a baby, so I spend most of my time feeding him, cleaning him, and teaching him how to find food. Once Per is a little older, he'll be able to dive down to eat red urchins too. As a matter of fact, it's just about time for Perry's first diving lesson. Oh, but I still have to catch up on my urchin duties. Pearl, why don't you and Shellington give Perry his diving lesson and let us clear the urchins out of the kelp forest? Oh, that would be wonderful. Octonauts, let's do this. We eat red urchins like this. Now you try. Oh, no, sweetie, that's a rock. Barnacles <laughs> 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 to Shellington. How's the diving lesson going? Well, Perry's found three red rocks, two red shells, one grumpy red crab, <coughs> but no red urchins. How about you? It took a while, but we managed to clear the red urchins out of the kelp forest. Oh, well, that should keep them under control, at least until it gets dark. Captain, red urchins are most active at night. They might try to come back when the sun goes down. In that case, we'd better stay the night. We'll take turns looking out for urchins. Now, you're sure you'll be okay up there, Shellington? Of course, Captain. Nothing like sleeping out under the stars, sea otter style. Ah, we're holding hands and holding on to kelp so we don't uh, float away. Uh. <sighs> Still no sign of any urchins. Ooh. Hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were... Ah, urchins! Oh, no. That's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to. <laughs> Shellington, come in, Shellington. Your kelp strand is loose. Oh, um, I just want to sleep. Just a few minutes more, Mum. <laughs> Flappity flippers! Captain, come in, Captain. The urchins are coming. The urchins are coming. Lots of them. Quasi. Yeah. What? Sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the gup A. Octonauts, the urchins are heading for the kelp forest, and we've got to stop them. Everyone, let's. Uh, hang on, where's Shellington? Captain, the urchins, they destroyed the roots of the kelp he was holding on to. Captain, look! Shellington, Pearl and Perry are drifting out to sea. Dashy, Quasi, you take the Gup A to rescue Shellington. Tunip, Tweak, we'll help Peso with the urchins. There's no time to lose. Everyone, in two positions. Quasi, Dashy, any sign of Shellington and Pearl? We're approaching them now, Captain. Hurry, Dashy. We need all the help we can get. Uh, fast. There they are, matey. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! If we get too close, we'll crash into them. Quasi, maybe you can... Reel them in. Already on it. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Ha-ha! Got him! Ah. Shellington! Ho! Oh, wake up! Oh, what? Oh, 
something jellyfish. Shellington, the kelp! Grab the kelp! <laughs> Hold on tight, mateys! We gotta get back to the kelp forest. It's no use, Cap. The urchins are already getting through. This looks like a job for a keystone species. Shellington! The urchins will keep coming back to the kelp forest unless we move them somewhere with plenty of food. <gasps> that rocky reef! There's plenty of algae for them to eat there. But what about the urchins that are already in the kelp forest? Pearl, I hope you're hungry. Reporting for urchin duty. All right, Octonauts, start moving urchins to the rocky reef. It's working. The urchins like it here. Keep it up, Octonauts. That's the last one, Cap. Thanks, Tweak. Good work, everyone. The red urchins are gone and the kelp forest is safe. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. I don't know what I would have done without all your help. Oops, missed one. <laughs> <laughs> Perry, you did it! Your first red urchin! From now on, it looks like you'll have some help with your urchin duties. <laughs> What's our position, Dashie? Just approaching the eastern coast of Australia, Captain. Australia? I've heard a tale or two about the strange beasties that live there, me hearties. Actually, Quaz is right. Many of the creatures in Australia are found nowhere else in the world. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. <laughs> is everyone okay? I'm fine. Oh, okay, Captain. Yes, I think so. Aye, aye, Captain. Just practicing my tumbles. Dashie, what just happened? Well, we were passing this river, Captain. There's been a lot of rain in this area, and all the extra water caused the river to flood. It's gushing out here into the ocean much faster than usual. And it's sweeping the river creatures out with it. Looks like they need our help. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. here has flooded. We've got to head upstream and help any creatures who may be in trouble. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, into the cafe. First, we have to rescue the river creatures that have been swept out to sea. Quasi, activate fish vac. <laughs> now let's take them back home. Be careful out there, little fishies. This river's flowing fast. Looks like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonauts, let's do this. Well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Hmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Ah, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. 
We should show it to, um... Ah! Shellington! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! Oh, it stung my leg. What? What stung your leg? One of them! There they are. Don't let them get away. We're under attack! Quick, everyone back to the car. Oh. Yeah. out there, Shellington. Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg. Oh, what were those things? They had bills and claws and... <gasps> Hold on. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. So. Whatever it was that stung you, it was serious. How are you feeling, Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Peso, you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. Good luck out there. Hurry. Oh. Oh. No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh. Looks like we've got company. Quasi. Keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are. Ah, you sure? It's around here somewhere. I did it, Captain! Oh! Oh! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase. They'll never find us now! Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag, and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! <laughs> here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Wow! <laughs> Shiver me, whiskers! Peso's bag! Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. That's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. Ah, how do they keep finding us in the dark? We're trapped. Huh? <laughs> We've got you right where we want. Now, hand it over. Um, excuse me? Hand what over? 
Not gonna cooperate, huh? All right then. Get ready to feel the sting. Stop! Look. Our baby! He's got your bill. <laughs> and your tail. A baby duck-faced monster. It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. Our egg must have rolled into the river during the flood. We were looking everywhere for it. We're very sorry, platypuses. We didn't know the egg was yours. We were going to try and find out where it came from, but then our friend Shellington, well... All oh, right, Yim. Yeah. Sorry for the sting. I, I was just protecting my family and I got a little bit, uh, stingy. I completely understand, but I've got to find my medical bag so I can help Shellington. Aye, it's somewhere down in the muck. Perhaps I can make up for what I did to your mate and find that for you. I'll be right back. But how will he be able to find my bag in the dark? We platypuses don't mind the dark, because we swim with our eyes closed anyway. We find our way around underwater using our special bill. It tells us where things are. Aha! My medical bag. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Peso. It's feeling better already. Don't worry, the pain from Miss Stinger should wear off soon. Sorry again, mate. And thanks for keeping our little ones safe. Oh, not to worry. It's not every day I get to meet a family of furry, wet-footed, stinging, egg-laying, beaver-tailed, duck-billed platypi. Oh, ah, you're standing on my foot. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's our mission today, Captain? I'm ready for any... Shiver me whiskers! What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A mass of what? Plankton! That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh, oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. <laughs> but what's our mission, Captain? Well, the plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the Gup X. The Gup Eggs? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking Gups and helping fix him. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A Gup. Please? <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octo ski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First, I gotta. Oh! Woohoo! I've got it started! But how do I get it to stop? It's stuck! Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? Ah, <sighs> no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay, a lot of it back. Left, right, sky. Left, right, sky. Oh, we right, see sky. monkey's uncle. Left, it's right, a sky. bug walking Left, on water. Right, sky. Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider, the only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing! But true, I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, 
I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, oh, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh, yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she skater. All the she skaters are bigger than the he skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> yeah, we need food! <laughs> what do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast, and it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What do we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, we're yeah. ready. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, here we go. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, and hurry. Right, skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this wind. Skate. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gut finder. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find it before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out, and I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Gashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea, and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh no, Quasi's out there while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm. Any luck opening the octo hatch, Tweak? Uh, no. We gotta unjam the octo hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey. You're talking to a speed skater, man! <laughs> Can't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Sorry about that, me hearty. I didn't see you there, because you're so... Don't, don't say little! Uh, no. I mean, yes, uh... Coming through! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! <sighs> That's as far as I can get it! I can't get through! If Basil can't make it, who can? big wave and it's heading straight for Quasi. Let's go. Tweak, activate glider. You got it, Cap. Oh! Hang on, kids. Okay, Sally, time to bubble up. Time to what? Bubble up. Remember those little hairs I told you about? When the water gets really rough, it helps us do this. So we can breathe, even if we go underwater. Amazing! Haha, <laughs> but true! What about the babies? <laughs> well, I don't have a bubble, but you're welcome to take shelter in my octo ski. All aboard! It's okay, hun, I've got it! <laughs> my babies! Mummy! I'll save them! <laughs> Don't be scared, kids. I've got you. Here you go. Strider! He's gone. Stay with your babies. I'll get him. We should see Quasi any minute, Cap. Ah, the 
There's nobody here. Hey, who are you calling nobody? Uh, oh, hello. Um, who are you? Oh, never mind that. These waves are getting too big. My husband and your furry friend are in danger. Strider! Need a lift? <laughs> no worries! <laughs> what makes you think I need a... <laughs> are you all right, matey? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Poor little bug. Too small to save himself. That's not what I was thinking. Everybody needs saving sometimes, just like you saved the baby skaters. That's big! Right. You may be little, but you do big things. No, no, no. I mean that! Shiver me whiskers! Oh, we're going to need a bigger bubble. <laughs> Hang on. Right on time, Captain. Tweak, open the windscreen. <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> I quit showing off. <sighs> it's good to see you, Quaz. You too, Tweak. Carrot? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Fascinating. I've never seen something so little eat so much plankton. Uh, 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 uh. They may be little, but we do big things. <laughs> 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 Captain Barnacles, come in. Oh, Dashy, what is it? Something's not right. I'm getting a strange weather warning. Uh, meet me in HQ. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> it's the biggest whirlpool I've ever seen, and it's heading straight for us. We'll be sucked right in. Dashy, prepare to move the octopod to calmer waters. Attention, Octonauts! There is a giant whirlpool what? heading for the Octopod. Please, put away any items that could fall or be broken. Activate launch now! That tunip, you found some strange objects in the garden pod. Well, let's go. Jumping jellyfish, they're eggs, but who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast e toe tickler, come out wherever you are. <laughs> aboard the ship. We found eggs in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake? On the octopod? Are you sure, Peso? Yes. It was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No. No. 
That's the one. A sea crate. They're the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There! Aha! So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <sighs> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. <gasps> that whirlpool is stronger than we thought. Dashy, activate steering wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> off this ship. Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Captain, the snake is escaping through the lab vent. Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. <laughs> They hatched! That's great. But, um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Water! Water, water, find water! Water, water, find water! Captain, Dashi, come in! The eggs have hatched. Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all. They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool. Find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. <laughs> Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Oh, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh, no. Dashie, what's going on down there? One of the snakes reversed the ship. I'll try to change direction. It's no use. We're getting sucked in. We'll have to drive our way out of it. My baby girl! Snake overboard! Captain, stop! We've got to save her! Come on, Peso! Won't the whirlpool swallow us up if we go out there? Yes. Unless... Tweak, do you have any suction cups? Coming right up! Baby snake, here we come! The baby sea snake has large scales on its belly. Kind of like suction cups. That's what allows it to climb. And now, with the suction suits I made, Quasi and Peso have belly scales too. There she is. Uh, uh, uh. 
Captain, the ship can't take much more of this. Quasi, Peso, you have to hurry. We have to get out of this whirlpool. Aye, Captain, we've almost got her. Yeah, little snakey snakey snake. I just did that! Great work! Now hurry back inside! They're inside, Captain. Now's our chance. We've got to blast out! Okay, Dashy, I'll pull the brakes. Then you'll activate the turbo blasters. Ready? Brakes! Now, blasters! No whirlpools in sight. Good work, Octonauts. And look who's here. Mama! My baby girl. Looks like it's safe for you snakes to head out to sea. <sighs> Come along, children. Yay, water! Thanks for all your help. I knew this would be a nice, safe place to lay my eggs. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, Octonauts, it's been a busy night. Why don't we all get some sleep? Eh? <laughs> all done. Fit as a fiddle fish. Here's your last patient, Peso. And how are you today? Crabby. Because, well, I'm a crab and my shell hurts. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. Now, don't be nervous. This X-ray viewer just lets me see inside your shell. Aha! Uh -huh. You've got a small stone in there, Captain. May I? That's better. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. What's that? A young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello, are you all right? My name is... Oh, hello, don't hurt me. Don't be scared, I'm here to help. G -g Get away, but I... Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 Orker! Orker! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if. Hey, so? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashy, send me a picture of a... Orca? Already on it, Captain. Sperm whales, there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is black and white like an orca. 
but he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no! Oh. oh, they're right. I'm scared of everything. Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking I can do it, but I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep and dark and scary, but that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. Did I say something wrong? <gasps> <laughs> you know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Hey, so. Penguins have to learn to dive too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> See? It's not so bad. Just a little deeper and we'll find the rest of your pod. I can do it. I can do it. I oh, can't do it! Let's try it backwards. It's not so scary this way, is it? I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it! This may take a little longer than I thought. Hmm. Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> you see, you can do it. Yes, I can do it. I can do it. I... <gasps> Um, excuse me, Mr. Clam. Would you mind opening your mouth? I can do it. I can do it. Oh, who am I fooling? Oh. Yeah. Help! Hey, so a giant clam fell to the bottom of the sea. <gasps> Simon, will you dive down to help us? I... I'm sorry. I want to help Peso, but I just can't do it. It's all right. We'll find him. <gasps> Peso's medical bag. Look, the clam. Uh, Quasi, I think you mean clowns. Shiver me whiskers! We'll have to search shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X-ray viewer. Clam. Clam. Another clam. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This time is for Peso. Clam, clam, Peso, clam, clam, Peso. Quasi. Are you all right, Peso? Well, it's getting a bit cozy. Look out! We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. In 
It's too heavy. We need a... Whale. What? Simon? Yeah, Whoa! I did it! I did it! I dived! I knew you could do it! Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save. Peso! Hey, look, it's Simon. Out of my way! I've got you, Peso! But how do we get it open? Hmm. Don't worry. We've dealt with giant clams before. Ready, Quasi? Aye, Captain. Ready. Ready, Peso? Ready. All right. When I give the command, tickle, pull, leap. Tickle. <laughs> That's it. Now, pull. <laughs> <laughs> Leap! <Yeah>. Phew! Hooray! <laughs> Good job, everyone. Especially you, Simon. Thanks for helping to save me. No problem. Hey, who wants to go back down? We should put the giant clam back where we found him. Oh, I can do it! <laughs> Wait for me! He can do it! He can do it! He did it! Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to. Yeah. <gasps> Fascinating. That's a type of whale called an orca. Look, there's another. And another. And another. Remarkable. We've attracted an entire pod. What's a pod, Professor? It's a group of orcas, Peso. The pod helps each other through thick and thin, rather like the octonauts. We've got to bump him back. Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, Orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm. Sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh. You mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. <coughs> oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Want to race? Ah! Oh. Okay! <laughs> hey, you didn't say go! There. 
are heading straight for the beach. Oh my, that's not a good place for an orca. Maybe I can stop it before he gets there. Can have a head start next time, but I'll still win. <laughs> uh, uh, just let me get turned around here. Uh, give me a push, will you? I. Uh... Oh! Are you all right? Hi, Captain. But I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me, or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the vegimals. <laughs> the orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, We'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my port calling to me. <coughs> oh no, all of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Stop! Please, let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're gonna need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> you don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! It's getting hotter and hotter. Octonauts, grab the ropes. Hmm. Ready to test, Cap. Octonauts, take your positions. On my signal. One, two, three, pull! Oh! Oh! Stop, stop! Oh, that really hurts. Captain, I don't think it's enough to pull him. Now, if we could get the ropes under him, we could lift him up. Hmm. We need a way to tunnel under the sand with the ropes. I think I know who can help us. Attention, crabs! You crabs have a special ability to tunnel under the sand. 
Will you use it now to help the orca? No. He got himself into this. He can't get himself out. Ah! Let me help you. There you go. Well, that was uh, really quite helpful. Thank you. So, are you with us? Okay, sideways, march! Octonauts, let's do this. One, two, three, four! Again, one, two, three, four! <laughs> one, two, three, four! Ah, it's working! Keep pulling! Captain, our pod is grateful to you and your pod. You can always count on the Octonauts to help. Remember to call on us if we can ever do anything for the Octonauts. Shall we practice our special signal? <laughs> Goodbye, Orca friends. Goodbye, Captain. Until we meet again. All right, settle in, everyone. The Vegimals have prepared hot chocolate. Kubatsuna! Oh, and kelp cakes. Thanks, Junip. Thanks for the snacks, matey. Uh, but what are we here to see? Quite an amazing sight, actually. And that is? Dashi set up the remote cameras on the beach so we wouldn't miss a thing. Shiver me whiskers. What won't we be missing? Why, the baby sea turtles, of course. Oh, carry on, matey. Right now, the turtles are still in their eggs, in nests buried under the sand. I'll show you how they got their tulip. This is a video we took eight weeks ago. The mother sea turtles swim up onto the beach at night to lay their eggs. It's the only time they ever leave the water. And this is the same beach right now. The eggs have been under the sand all this time and should be ready to hatch at any moment. And we get to watch it happen. I can't wait. Ah, uh, nothing's happening, matey. Well, one can never be exactly sure when the eggs will hatch. It could be a few more minutes or a few more days. Days? <laughs> Have patience, everyone. I'm sure it'll be well worth the wait. What is it? Oh, oh, are the eggs hatching? No, it's the wave tracker. A really big wave is in the area. It's moving fast and it's heading for the beach. Flippity flippers, what about the eggs? <gasps> They'll be washed away. Chopper! Won't they be safe buried under the sand? Sea turtle eggs are very sensitive. If they get too wet, they'll never hatch. Then we'd better do something. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have to rescue those eggs before the wave hits the beach. Once we've gathered up the eggs, we'll need to move them to a new beach fast. Don't you worry about that, Shellington. We'll be ready. Come on, Tuna. Everybody else, into the Gup X. Right, we need to remove the turtle eggs from their nests and place them in these special transport containers. Please be careful. The eggs are very delicate and extremely sensitive to hot or cold. Yeah, fussy little things, aren't they? They are, Quasi. If they get too hot or too cold, they won't hatch. We'll be very careful. The wave is moving in fast. We'd better hurry. Octonauts, load those eggs. <laughs> the last one, Captain. Good. The wave is almost here. Tweak, we're ready for the Gup H. Roger that, Cap. 
Here we come! More tow lines, Tunip! Rata Rata! All right, Octonauts, hook them up! Tweak, all lines are secure. Thanks, Cap. We'll get those eggs to safety faster and you can see bunch of munchy crunchy. Uh, hold on, Tweak. Oh, good catch, Gruber. This one nearly got away from us. Ah. Here comes the wave. Everyone, into the gut, now. Brace yourselves. Is everyone all right? Just a little dizzy, Captain. Yow! And ready to go again. Captain, the turtle eggs aren't out of danger yet. We have to get them to a new beach right away. This one is too wet. I think we may have found one, Shellington. Sending you some pictures now. Ah, it seems to have everything the turtles need. The right sand, the right slope, and the right distance from the water. Perfect. Tweak, send us the location and we'll meet there to make new nests for the eggs. Octonauts, let's do this! Does it? The eggs are all safely under the sand. Good work, Octonauts. Ah, I suppose there's nothing left to do now but wait for the eggs to hatch. Yeah, more waiting. I don't think we'll be waiting long, Quasi. Look. They're hatching. Oh, that's wonderful. Maybe not. Sea turtle eggs usually hatch at night when there are fewer predators around to eat them. This beach must be colder than their old beach, which is making them think it's night time. Turtles? Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, just wow. wonderful. Look at them! Huh? <laughs> You're the little guy that almost got left behind. There you go. Hey, put that back. I can do it myself. Oh, sorry, matey. Just trying to help. Thanks, but I don't need help. We sea turtles got to do this on our own. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know what those things are, but they sound hungry. Gotta go. He's right. Those seagulls would love to have a baby sea turtle for a snack. Then it's up to us to make sure the turtles make it to the water safely. Vegemals, are there any fish biscuits in the Gup eggs? We'll need all the fish biscuits you've got to keep these gulls distracted. Keep it up, everyone. We just have to keep these gulls busy until all the baby turtles are in the ocean. Huh? Oh, me, oh, my. One of the baby turtles is going off course. Captain, it's your octocompass. Huh? Baby turtles use light to find their way to the water. The light bouncing off your compass must be confusing him. Keep the gulls away from him! Ha-ha! <laughs> Leave that to me, Captain! Yow! Feeding time, gulls! Take the biscuit! Ha! <laughs> Woo! Take that! I'm sorry, little turtle. I didn't mean to confuse you. <laughs> there sure are a lot of not turtles on this beach. Oh, so it's you again. Don't worry, I've got you, little matey. Be careful, Quasi. His shell's not fully hardened yet. Then I'll call you... Soft shell. Good name, but could you please put me down? I want to get to the water all by myself. That's what we turtles do. There you go, soft shell. 
just a little further. Thanks. Now, no more helping me. I'm almost... <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Captain, that seagull's getting away with soft shell. Tweak, follow that bird. We're hot on his tail feathers, Cap. If I'd known this was going to happen, I'd have stayed in my egg. Donna Hatta! Tuna, what are you... Oh, I get it! Shell, you're okay. Take me to the water's edge, please. Exactly where I left off. There! I did it! All by myself. Well, almost. Thanks, Octonauts! See you later, Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Congratulations! Good luck out there. Nice work today, Octonauts. Those baby sea turtles are off to a good start. So, what happens to them now, Shellington? Well, they'll swim far out to sea and get bigger and bigger until it's time for them to return to this very beach and lay eggs of their own. How long does that take? Um, about 15 to 20 years. Yeah! That's a long time to wait. <laughs> Sorry, Gruber. I don't think we have enough fish biscuits to last that long. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Barnacles. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>